focus. <clears throat> well, first things first, I am sorry. My voice is going to sound a little bit sick again because I'm always recovering from something. My lip, okay, so you know when you get sick and your lips dry up? <clears throat> kind of. Um, my lips dried up so much that when I smiled, like, they kept, like, breaking more and more. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. Better enough to talk anyway. Uh, anyway, I would like to show you. <laughs> okay, so, um, if you guys are paying attention on my community tab, um, I put a poll and showed you four of my oldest LPS customs that I ever made. And, because I had this idea, you see. And, uh, the idea was to remake one of my really, really old customs. Um, I look at my old customs and I just get so much nostalgia and I just love them so much and I just thought it'd be so much fun to remake one. <coughs> uh, I'm dying, okay. So I had you guys vote and I actually sat down and counted all of them. Okay, so there was a Bon Bon Kitty that was kind of like a mermaid. There was this sort of collie with the gold accents. There was a deer that was kind of like a wintry theme. And then at last there was this kind of short hair cat with all these patterns and designs. It was kind of like fall-like. And I had you guys vote. I counted every single one. And number two won. Number three was very, very close. It was so close, but number two took the wind. I feel like I sound really sick. I'm sorry. I'm weak. All right, let's bring out our subject. <laughs> Bam. Hello, I am the victim. Save me from Mother Studios. So the custom, like I said, is so old, like it's extremely old, uh, 2016 or 2017. So I don't actually have it anymore. Very sad. <laughs> um, I sold it a very long time ago, even when I was starting customs i was selling them yeah. <laughs> anyway so that just means we'll have to look up pictures i feel a little crazy today like i kind of feel like i want to sleep but i also kind of feel like i want to bite someone's face off you didn't hear anything anyway here okay you know what get out of frame thank you here is going to be our base wow is there like a neck problem wait a minute Nope, I think it's fine. So yes, here is our subject. This is a fake collie, as you can see, but um, I honestly don't see any difference between the fake collies and the real ones, which is nice, because these you can get cut on bulk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so let's, I don't know, let's do this thing, you know what I'm saying? So what's really great about this particular one that I chose is there happens to be um, <laughs> a time lapse of it, uh, just you know, like painting it. I also did a time lapse sculpting it, but I also did time lapse painting it, and that's really helpful because now I can kind of see, like, I have more reference. Because a lot of my old customs, I only took one picture of them, kind of just like a forward facing. So this way, I can kind of see, you know, what I'm got to work with here. So, like, it looks like I just sculpted them flat wings. Okay, you know what? I wasn't done. So we got some spiky, spooky spikies. Uh, some horns. Uh, a tail that kind of looks like a mermaid tail for some reason. Um, and wings. The thing is, I sculpted the wings flat. Uh, probably from lack of skill. And I guess maybe th that could be interpreted as a wing tail. That'd be kind of interesting. Right? 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 Stop it. Get some help. Anyway, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta snippity snippity. Yeah. Ah, these are my crappy scissors. <laughs> Goodbye, tail. Won't miss you. <laughs> um, let me just get a candle. Scooby doo. Boom. All right. Trust me, guys. I am a professional at this. Yeah, let's do that. Little firepower, yeah. So what are we doing now, you ask? So um, to add a tail, instead of just adding it on like I did crazily in that um, video, I want to have a little armature for the clay to stick to. Get in his butt. Okay. 
Now this looks very painful. So, <laughs> unless we want the tail to be uh, this long. <laughs> yeah, we don't want the tail to this, bleh. we don't want the tail to be this long. So let's just snippety snippety this. And just cut. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. Okay, well, that went to space. Okay, let me get my clay. My clipply clay, what should we use? We could use this. Everybody uses this. It's called Knead It Tight. Um, it's like a two-part mix. I won't be using this. Um, here is my other clay. It kind of looks like flesh. We're not going to talk about it. It is uh, clay you bake in the oven. I am one of the few customizers that uses this type of clay as my main clay. I find it like way better <laughs> just because I hate waiting in between drying time. And I found that this particular clay is pretty strong, so I don't have to worry about it breaking. Like, uh, let me show you. Um, here are two customs I made really recently. And, <laughs> uh, sickness. So this was made completely out of uh, the oven clay. Uh, there's obviously an armature here, don't worry. <laughs> but you know, I'm really not worried about this stuff breaking. It just doesn't break. Like, for example, this doesn't have an armature at all. Like, these don't. But, um, they're still really durable, so that's nice. <laughs> Zoom! This guy sold last night, and I am sad, because he's so cute! Yum, 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 yum. What should we make first? I don't really know what I'm sculpting here. So I can figure out what I want to do. Okay, so we got, like, for the sculpting, I guess. Definitely the horns can be improved upon. That kind of looks bad. Uh, the spikes coming out of its face. Yeah, okay. It just needs to be cleaner, I think. That just kind of looks like a mess. Um, same with its sides. I'm trying to think of how I can transition that a little bit nicer. It's just kind of weird, like it's like exploding <laughs> out of different areas. I feel like there needs to be like a transition null. Um, I don't know if it's holding a key. I don't know if I'll add that. Um, we'll figure it out. Yeah, uh, and the tail's just kind of like spiky, spiky hairy, spiky hairy tail, okay. Got like a random, one feather on the wing. I don't- okay, so apparently my brain's not functioning correctly because I also need to do an armature for the wings, which means there needs to be a wire that goes in its body right there. So I will just quickly do that. Watch this magic. Oh my gosh, magic. Wow. I know, thank you. I'm a wizard. So um, our wings and stuff after doing all this work will not break. So I think what I want to do first is I want to build up the layers I'm going to be building off of. Just gonna build up an ugly base. It's gonna look ugly, don't worry. Trust Mother Studio, she knows what she's doing. Okay. I'm not happy with the shape, I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to get something on here. Kinda trying to decide if I want the wings a little bit like open and out or if I want them to be resting like they were in the one I made before, but the thing is, they were resting because I was, that was just my skill level at the time. How's that? Okay, so I'm gonna do like a fan, fanned out area right here. I feel like that will look really nice. If you add like feathers, you know, I feel like that would look nice. <laughs> Hmm. Guys, I got a horn tutorial, quick horn tutorial for y'all. Something like this. And then you take it and twisty twisty. But trying to keep this same shape. I feel like everybody knows this, but um, yeah, I was just gonna do a quick little tutorial thingy. Gotta be a little bit careful though that you don't like stretch it out. I like to make sure the tip is nice and pointy, like a blade. And there we go. Perfect and schlagen. You know, one thing I really struggle with is symmetry. Which is probably surprising to a lot of people, but I actually really struggle with symmetry. I feel like I think something's symmetrical and then I come back and I'm like, ooh, yikes. <laughs> so in the original, the, the horns kind of curl a little bit up. I kind of like that, so I think I'm going to keep that. Looks a little funky, like that gap, but I'm gonna cover it, so it'll be fine. Anyway, another thing I like to do with horns is kind of get like a paintbrush end or something and add a little bit of texture to the base. I feel like it looks a little bit more natural and it kind of like transitions nicer, even though this will be probably covered, but 
whatever. I'm all about texture in my customs. We're going to keep working in dead silence. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So I'm basically taking the end of a paintbrush again. It's a very useful tool. And I'm just kind of digging into the clay a bit and making a feather shape. Try to really pronounce the ones at the bottom so it actually doesn't look like a like a block or anything. Wow, Mother Studios, hot sculpting right there. Look how pretty Beth is. That's so pretty, I'm gonna take a picture of that, wait. Where'd you come from? Where did you go? So I sculpted the wings and the tail bits. I think I will do the back of the wings. Where'd you come from? Where did you go? Da -da 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 okay, so I think I'm gonna work on this spikes probably on her face first so there's a bunch of spikes that run along her forehead and her side i think i'm going to work on her forehead first okay so here's what i did I kind of the idea, uh, yeah. I kind of the idea of starting with like bigger spikes and then going to the small, like smaller, as you go down. I think I actually want to add like some transitional smaller spikes, kind of around this area, maybe around this area too, uh, because since there's gonna be like big spikes on the sides, it just kind of looks goofy without a transition. I think. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's the next day, huh? Update on the deer that nobody asked, but <laughs> they both sold. Goodbye, my lovely babies. They're so cute. We should put them in the background, so at least I can appreciate them one last time. What a suspicious sound. What's going on here? You are so bad. <laughs> what was that? What were you doing? Hey! <laughs> okay, so that is one side.
Okay, I think I, before I bake this for this to dry, I'm going to work on the spikes on the feet as well because in the picture there's also some spikes adjourning the feet area, like the outside. Okay, so I think this is everything I wanted to add onto the custom. We got the spikes, the spikes, more spikes. So let's just put this in the oven for the final time. And yeah. Okay, so here's the sculpting all done. whoop de doop de doo It's pretty similar to the original, honestly. The only really big thing I changed was this tail bit. And just, you know, better sculpting in general. I don't always do this for my customs, but I'm actually going to sell this one. And since there's a lot of extended pieces on it, and I don't want anything to break, I'm going to get some super magic glue here and just kind of glue around some areas. I think I might be worried of things breaking. You had one job. Just the one. Anyway, let's just start with the uh, the dry dry brush layer. On all my customs, I like to do a dry brush white layer. Even though this custom is actually going to be white. Ooh, the green in this is tinting the paint. Anyway, I always like to dry brush a layer of white on all my customs, um, even if they are a different color, besides if they're like black or something, I'll do black. I'm sorry, you guys are problematic. I'm gonna have to move you. I already did a whole video on how to get smooth base coats, so just go check it on over there if you are interested in learning. So this is what one layer of dry brush, just loose dry brush, obviously I haven't done the wings or anything, I should probably do that, um, looks like. And I think I'm just gonna keep repeating this process over and over again until the color is pretty opaque. Ta-da! Okay, on the custom, basically there's just gold accents and glitter. <laughs> My favorite to work with. Okay, for gold, I have three different golds here that I found in my little drawer. This is probably the same exact gold I used on my very old custom because this thing is practically empty and it's very old. Oof, that is very old. Is that it dry? Yeah, okay, this is com this is definitely like the original I used. I just gotta throw this out. So uh, we have two options now, which kind of makes this easier because this is a very yellowish gold. This is a more natural metallic. Hmm. The only thing is the gold in the photo is a little bit browner, so I think I might bronze this out. So one of the things I've noticed with this gold paint is that it's very thin, kind of like yellow color. So it goes onto the custom very thin. So it probably will need a few coats. Satisfying paint mixing. Okay. <laughs> I haven't dry brushed with gold in a very long time. But we're gonna have to do it for this custom, so let's try. Okay, honestly, not terrible. I think it's good that this is a white base coat because the gold will go on a lot nicer. Yeah, I was kind of expecting it to look like a mess just because you're dry brushing gold, which is a really thin color. So I'm going to have to go back and fix it. Well, we've kind of established the dry brushing doesn't really work, so maybe if I put some wet paint on and just blend it with water, it'll look nice. I think I'm gonna dry brush gold and see if I can get some texture 
out of these feathers and then I'll be able to maybe add um, glitter at the very bottom right here It's still a tad messy, <clears throat> so I think it's still like a little bit messy, but I might fix it up a little bit more. I actually darkened it some. Yeah, we'll see. I'm actually going to work on now like the detail bits around the face and see what I think. It's been a long journey, but we're finally ready for glitter. I have a lot of glitter. So we got like a really, really uh, yellow gold. And I would also say this is kind of a very similar, it's called sugar gold, solar gold, my bad. Then we got holographic gold. And then we have this sort of just simpler, I don't know, this type, I don't know. It's also called yellow gold, but it looks a lot less yellow to me. I think I'm gonna actually go with this this uh, less pigmented gold. I think it'll look nicer with the design. Ew. Oh. Ew. What happened to my Mod Podge? It's so clumpy. What happened to you? Ew. Well, whatever. Let's use it anyway. <laughs> Here we go. Nee 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 nee. Do 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 do. Okay. Look at all this glitter. Glitter monster. I love glitter. Just add some glue on the bottom. Maybe I should do front and back for this. Yeah, that worked pretty well. Now it's time for the very fun part, which is coloring in the eyes black. Okay, I just found, I was thinking her, her, <clears throat> I was thinking that her chest looked a little bit, you know, plain. So I found this. Just like imagine, that might look so pretty. But the thing is, I already have plans for this. No. 
I don't know. Ah! I wish I had more. Okay, time for the yellow eyes. Hmm, in the original they were more like my old style of eyes. I don't know if I want to keep it like that or if I want to do my new style of eyes. <gasps> the glitter is sparkling in the sun. Do you see that? <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at this. <gasps> that is so pretty. I love glitter. I am kind of considering getting the eyes really similar to how I did these eyes. Because I love this how these eyes look. This is kind of like my new style of eyes. So maybe I'll do that since... It's in favor of my new style. So here she is, all completed finally after her eyes are glossed. And that is basically the end of the video. <laughs> I can't believe if you watch this far because it is stupidly long. <laughs> um, so I'm going to roll the professional photos and then the credits. So yeah, just I hope you guys enjoyed and enjoy the photos. And thanks for watching. Resting